Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk through how the autocomplete lessons and topics module works. That's part of the pro suite of modules that we have for the Uncanny Learn Dash toolkit. The way this module works is very straightforward. Um, basically, when it's enabled, then we're able to get rid of the mark complete button that's usually on lessons and topics and instead just when users visit those pages learn dash automatically um, flags them as completed so it it removes that click which is maybe read right in some situations but not all of them um, and it just makes uh, things a little easier and uh, more clear to users if they're getting hung up on something like the mark complete button so what I'm going to do before talking about the settings is taking a look at default Learn Dash behavior. And right now the module is disabled. So you can see right now I'm on a uh, sample platform. This is just a demo site that uh, we've got. And it's usually using, using a couple of the toolkit modules. So here you can see there's a resume button. And uh, this is the, the dashboard that is part of the uh, Pro Suite. So if I expand that, you can see that uh, this particular course has 15 lessons in it. 10 of them have been completed. You can see here that uh, there are a couple that have not been. So let me go into, why don't I go into the text and H5P chart lesson. So there we go. There is some text and an H5P chart. And you can see right now over here, it is not marked as complete. There's no green arrow. And there is a mark complete button that um, shows that as far as Learn Dash is concerned, this lesson has not been completed by the user. If I go to the next lesson now, it's going to take me to text and H5P drag words. So now that I'm on this page, you can see that um, the previous lesson was not marked as completed. This one still shows mark complete as well. And if I go back again, then um, still neither of those two are going to show as completed. So that's normal learn dash behavior. Nothing is marked as completed unless the user actually triggers that mark complete button. So if we go to the back end then, and what we'll do here is this is the module that we're talking about here. So first we want to make sure that it's turned on. And the next thing is if we do want to force globally auto completion of lessons and topics, I would switch to this. And we'll look at the override at the lesson and topic level in just a minute. But if we're setting it globally, we would set it like that here. And then if I go back and refresh this page now, now that we've turned it on globally, you can see there is no mark complete button. It's gone. And if I go to the next lesson, so this was text and H5P chart, you can see that's been marked as completed now. And if I go back to it again, then you can see that where I just was, the H5P drag words, that is not completed. So when we go back to the course level and I scroll down, you can see that those two items were completed and then that would show up in the dashboard as well. So that's essentially how it works. So there's the global setting. We've got the radio button so that you can turn it on or off globally but at the individual lesson and topic level, you can override that setting. So if I were to go in and go ahead and edit this particular lesson, so let's go in here. You can see it's a pretty straightforward lesson. Let's go down to the lesson settings here. And you can see there's some extra settings here. There's some extra ones for um, the other pro modules that uh, we'll cover in different videos. But if I take a look at this one, then you can see I can disable at the individual topic and lesson level uh, auto completion. So this will override the global settings that we set from the settings page of the toolkit. Um, so if you want different behaviors for a couple of lessons and topics, then you can go into those individually and turn it on or off there. And that's how that works. So hopefully that's helpful, and if you have additional questions or need more information, there is a knowledge base article about this on the Uncanny Owl website. Thanks.